Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Blurry Dave back with another Blu ray unboxing, and I am so excited to tell you guys that I finally watched this movie. I, I don't remember when this came out, like a year ago or two or like a year or two so ago, but I finally watched it. Finally, I, I bought this from my local Walmart for $13, and um, here I have Nicolas Cage, Willy's Wonderland. Join the party. <laughs> now, I am aware that this is a second Five Nights at Freddy's ripoff movie, but I gotta say, um, the guy who uh, directed this, I believe he's an independent filmmaker. Um, from from what I'm understanding is that he, I'm pretty sure he did take most of the inspirations from like Five Nights at Freddy's, like when Scott was working with Warner Brothers at the time. And even though this doesn't have a rating... You could pretty much guarantee that this is a R-rated movie, even though they don't say. Um, yeah, I've actually been excited about this one for sure. Um, yeah, I finally watched it. It's really good, really creepy. And it's actually a, a big deal for me because this is my very first horror film. So, um, ah, what a great start, right? I mean, I need to get myself used to, like horror films that I personally want to watch so I could get ready for the FNAF movie. So, uh, Blumhouse, if you're watching, we need the movie, so please. <laughs> Alright, so look at, look at here, guys. I loved Nicolas Cage's character here, but the problem is, is that, and I remember hearing about this before, like, his character didn't talk. Ah, <sighs> like, you could have at least given him a little bit of dialogue, but... Well, what can you do? And the another guy I recognized here in the movie, he was one of the kids, and um, I had no idea he was in this. And I, he's a, he used to be a Viner. It's Christian Del Grosso. And I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, I know you. So that, that was another fun surprise, but too bad his character got killed off. Like, you could have given him at least, like, a uh, character redemption or whatever. But, again, what can you do? Um... So yeah, I haven't checked out the bonus features yet, but uh, I'll make sure I will. Um, so congrats to to the director who uh, made this movie possible. Um, do I feel like we need more, um, I guess like, Five Nights at Freddy's ripoff movies? Well, it depends. I mean, I don't know if I'm ready for the Banana Splits movie because I know that's the very first ripoff one. Um, let's see... There was something else I was going to point out here, but, oh, well. Um, yeah, so you just get the Blu-ray there. Um, yeah, real love the disc art. So, yeah, tell me what you guys think of this film. Um, yeah, it's really good. I'll make sure to add this to my Five Nights at Freddy's playlist for sure because... Even though it's a ripoff, I feel like like it has to count because well it needs to count because again it took some inspirations from this old scripts from the old Warner Brothers twenty fifteen days. So um alright, you guys know what to do. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe behind Ray. Please turn on the post notification bell and share my content if you haven't already. And uh tell me guys, ha have you seen this movie yet? Alright. Again, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so bye and may the Lord be with you guys. Always love you guys. Peace out guys.